Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to cook for you a classic Bangladeshi fish curry. You may or may not know that Bangladesh is renowned for its fish dishes. Um, it's a country of many rivers and there's always something seafood or fish related on our dining tables. So I'm going to cook for you a boil curry. A uh, boil is kind of a freshwater fish and I'm going to cook it with tomatoes today and I'll show you just how easy and simple it is. So guys, here's what we'll need for our fish curry. 400 grams of boiled fish, which have been cut into large chunks. I had two steaks, which have been cut into three pieces each. So we've got here six pieces, as you can see. If you don't have boiled fish, then you can use cod, 400 grams of cod or red mullet, which also works well, even salmon, but some sort of white fish works best. Got here one small onion, finely sliced, four tomatoes, quartered, three green chilies, which are, we're going to slice lengthways and then add, but if you don't want too much heat, you can also leave them whole. Four tablespoons of oil, and for the ground spices, two teaspoons of chili, we're going from right to left, one and a half teaspoons of ground coriander, three teaspoons or one tablespoon of garlic, which has been crushed, one teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of salt but you can adjust this according to taste so guys i've got a large to medium pan here over medium heat so once the pan has heated up i will add the oil so that just takes about 20 30 seconds then we'll add the oil the oil has heated up so i'm going to add the garlic So what we need to do is lightly brown our garlic, which will take about a minute or so. Next, we're going to add in the onions. Add in the salt. Now cook this for a few minutes until the onions have softened and become translucent. So guys, the onions have been cooking for about four or five minutes now, so they've taken on a light golden colour and they've become quite soft. Um, so I'm going to add about 50 millilitres of water now. Cover it with a lid and leave it to soften for about four or five minutes on low heat. So now we're going to add the ground spices. It goes to turmeric, ground coriander, and chili powder. Let's stir this along. It's important at this stage to really cook out the spices so you're not left with a raw taste towards the end of the dish. So stir this for about a minute until the spices cook out. It's been a minute. Our spices have cooked out. We've got a really nice golden onion mixture. And what I'm going to do now is add about 75 millilitres of water. So bring this to a simmer. Again, reduce the heat to low and cover and cook for about five minutes. So guys, it's been about five minutes. It's going to give the onion and spices a stir. Softened really nicely and you'll see the water again has evaporated and oil has risen to the surface. So this is what you should be looking for. A kind of a deep golden reddish kind of onion mixture. At this point what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water. And 
bring that to a simmer again with the medium heat. So it's now time to add the fish. Carefully place them in the pan. What we're going to do now is stir everything together really well. As you may know with fish, it's very delicate and once it starts cooking through, it's almost impossible to stir without breaking the fish. So make sure everything is coated properly in the spice and onion mixture. So just lay them flat. What we're going to do now is put the heat to low again, cover with the lid and cook for five minutes. Guys, we're going to check the fish now. It's coming along nicely. You can see the fish pieces have become slightly opaque, which is a good sign. A good tip for if you think the fish may be sticking at the bottom of the pan, do not stir whatever you do. Stick the lid back on and then take a cloth or you may not need a cloth, but I need a cloth and just give it a gentle shake. That will help release the fish from the bottom of the pan. So my fish has moved along a little bit. I mean, it wasn't stuck, but if you feel that it may be stuck, then just give it a little shake, but do not stir. So now I'm going to add 300 milliliters of hot water. Again, add it to the sides of the pan. Turn the heat up to medium again and bring this to a simmer. Once this comes to a simmer, we're going to place the lid back on, reduce the heat slightly to a medium low and cook this between seven and eight minutes. Um, but we'll check after five minutes to see how it's coming along. So guys, it's been five minutes simmering away on low medium heat. The fish seems to be almost cooked. So what we're going to do now is add the tomatoes and the green chilies. Just gently place the pieces around the fish. Then just add in the green chilies. So again, on medium low heat, we're going to cook it for probably about five minutes. When you add the water, just make sure it kind of just covers the fish. So we're just going to cook this for another minute or so. so. Guys, I'm using frozen coriander today, so use frozen or fresh, about two tablespoons worth. Sprinkle it on top. Now just simmer this for another couple of minutes and we'll be ready to serve. So guys, I've plated up the fish. Look how amazing it looks. So we've got the fish pieces, the tomatoes, the really nice red gravy from the spices as well as the tomatoes. Um, this is a slightly spicy curry, but if you don't like heat, you can always reduce the chili powder by half and not cut up the chilies. So guys, there you have it. My Bangladesh fish curry with tomatoes. Really easy to put together, just needs a little bit of attention and you're left with something really amazing. Serve it with rice, plain basmati rice or steamed white rice, anything really, um, with a squeeze of lime or lemon towards the end, and it's so delicious. Seriously, one of my favorite dishes ever. So I'm going to give it a try now. I don't have the rice, as you can tell, just a bowl of curry, but it's seriously so good. I'll try a little bit of the fish. A little bit of the tomato sauce. So good. I know this is going to go perfectly with the rice a little bit later on, which I'm going to have for dinner. 
Um, so if you like this recipe guys, give it a like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time.